I, I just want to say we're so passionate about classic movies. We're going to expand the conversation. You can see the passion that's in this room. It's thrilling to the core. Put a new spin on some vintage films. It's classic movies and more. Hi, I'm Ramadaska from Classic Movies and More. It's October. It's time for some horror moments. Well, this is Bob Furman. Well, hello, Rob. Uh, I've got a pretty interesting story about Frankenstein, if you'd like to hear it. Absolutely. Scare away. Okay. What well, is scary in, in certain ways? Around 1990, I was uh, doing research for our book, Abbott and Costello in Hollywood, and we found that uh, one of, uh, actually, Bugaloo's first movie, One Night in the Tropics, had been edited from 83 minutes to about 69 minutes for reissue. And we brought it attention to the archivists at Universal, and uh, thankfully they were able to find that missing first reel, which has been restored to the film. And uh, I built up a friendship with uh, a wonderful guy by the name of Mike Fitzgerald, and he was kind of the uh, you know archivist at the studio who would look for missing material and everything. And he told me a story one day that they were doing restoration on the Karloff Frankenstein film a year or two earlier. And they pulled in film elements from around the world. Anything that they could find was, was pulled for that restoration. And the uh, cans were sent to YCM Labs in Burbank, which was handling, the, it was all done photochemically. Mm. And one of the cans just was labeled Frankenstein, and Pete Comedini worked at YCM at the time. <clears throat> Excuse me, he opened his can up, and there were three small rolls in it each of the same length. Turned out that they were uh, yellow, cyan, and magenta records from a Technicolor test done for Son of Frankenstein in 1939. Yeah. And very early on in production they were considering color photography for that film, but it was dropped. Uh, and But this Technicolor test footage survived. So both Pete Comandini at YCM saw it, and Mike Fitzgerald at the studio saw it. They decided that they were not going to do any restoration on it at the time, so they said, send the material here, we'll keep it in a safe place until we're ready to fully restore it. I went to Universal, and over a weekend, it disappeared. It was literally taken off someone's desk. Wow. So that was 16 years ago? No, 26 years ago. Wow. The footage has never resurfaced. Wow. So somebody... Somebody has color footage of Son of Frankenstein. Yeah. And it exists, but no one's ever seen it. Very sad. That's what I meant, a scary story. I don't understand how somebody could hoard something that unique and wonderful and not want the world to see it. That, that truly is a classic movie. Horror story.